So this video is going to look at some of the searching and filtering options available in the adaptable blotter. Um, so let's start with search and we'll start with the most basic of all the search functions which is quick search which as you can imagine allows you very quickly to look for any value across all columns which matches a particular um, input. So here we've put in 15 and we see anything which hits 15, date, number, string. And like all our functions, obviously, you can choose whether it's available or not, whether it's read-only. Um, you can edit it. So, for instance, we let's change the colour to be, say, a dark yellow. And in just instead of just highlighting cells, let's say we're only going to um, show the rows that match. So now you can see we don't get all the trade IDs. We only see the rows that match our input. So that's quick search, a very basic search that just finds anything that matches the input. How about if you want to do a more complicated cross-column search? Well, a way to do that is through advanced search. So let's build one and you'll understand how it works. And the advanced search is made up of as many column criteria as you want. And each column criteria can include either column values, filters or ranges. So let's build one. Let's say start with this um, counterparty column. And we say we only want to see anything which matches any of these distinct values. So these all become ORs. And let's add another criteria. Let's add a criteria, say, for the trade date column. And this time, instead of looking at column values, let's look at filters. And we ship with filters, and you can add your own. And we'll keep a um, very simple filter saying in the future. So it's any of these counterparties and where the trade date is in the future. And let's add one more condition. Let's say for the bid offer spread, Instead of doing column values and instead of doing filters, this time we'll add a range and you can say greater than. And here you can either choose another column so you can say whether it's greater than a value in another column or just a value. We're going to do a value and we'll keep it to 0.1. So there we are. That's our search. Any of those counterparties, trade date in the future and bid offer spread greater than 0.1. I give that a name, so we'll call this demo search. That's the name of the search, that's our query. And we can see that only the rows that match have been returned. And obviously it's live, so if I change city to be um, oops, BAML, then the row will automatically disappear because it's not part of the live search. So that's quick search and that's advanced search. And obviously you can have as many searches as you want. They work immediately. You can ship each um, instance of the adaptable blotter in your application with as many pre-canned searches as you want. We also offer the ability to do column filters. How does that work? So that works at column level. And when you click on a tab, again, you can do all the individual values. You can do filters. Or you can do, um, like we saw earlier, a range. So let's do a range. We're going to say we want to see what ask is greater than, and instead of doing a value, let's do a column is greater than Bloomberg ask. And let's close it. And now you, again, you can see any of the ones that match up there. If you want to see what your column filter is, you can see it any time. And obviously, you can do as many column filters as you want. So we can say, and also, where the notional is either of those two values. So we have two column filters at the moment, ask and notional. What happens though if you want to reuse a column filter again and again? So let's imagine in the country column, we always want to look at Belgium, Holland and Luxembourg. So we can do this each and every time and we can apply it. But a nicer way of doing it is to create a column filter, a user filter. Let's do that. Let's go into the country column. Let's choose Belgium, Holland, and Luxembourg. Let's give that a name. We've done it before. That's Benelux. So for the, uh, we've got a user filter called Benelux in a country column, and it's whatever the country is, Belgium, Holland, or Luxembourg. And now if I close that, if I now go into my country column, if I go into the filter, you can see now I can filter immediately on Benelux. But nicer still, that thing you've created is now a first class member 
of your adaptable blotter. You can use it for styles, for editing rules, you can use it in a whole load of places. And in fact, we can even use it in a search we created earlier. So if I go back into my search and I now edit it, if I say I want to go into the country column, I can again choose countries or I can apply the filter, including the one we just applied, this one here, countries Benelux. And I'll finish my search and you see we only now see countries where Benelux, again it's live, so if I change that to France, the row disappears. And better still, if I change that user filter, so let's imagine one day, for whatever reason, people decide Holland is no longer part of Benelux, or you can choose your user filter, it can be a date range, it can be anything you want. If I now remove that, the user filter automatically updates, as of course does my search, and I no longer see Holland. So there we are, some of the searching options available in the Adaptable Blotter. You've got Quick Search, you've got Advanced Search and Filters. Lastly, everything we've seen so far works purely on the client. What happens if you want to run this on the server? Well, here you've got a couple of options. The first is we have something called Data Source. So you can populate your Adaptable Blotter with a number of data sources. And when any of those are chosen, all the Adaptable Blotter does is it tells you which one's been chosen, you can listen to that event and you can then provide us with a completely different data source. So data sources are just hard-coded names of any store procedures or books or anything you want to allow you to change the data set at runtime. But additionally, you can actually configure the adaptable blotter to say that you want advanced search or quick search or filters or sorting or anything to apply on the server instead of the client. To find out how to do that is really another video in its own right or oh, please get in touch to find out more. Thanks for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.